just learned the hard way that a lot of this sand is actually mud. He is barely on this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hello everybody and welcome back to another adventure. So on this trip I went just did a quick little overnight float trip. Uh, departed in the afternoon, did some floating and fishing in the evening, and then woke up early the next morning just to finish the float route and hike back to the truck. Um, fishing action was, you know, it was there. Uh, not a whole lot going on. Managed to squeeze in a, uh, a good catch and cook. Um, lots of cool stuff to see. It was relaxing. Uh, I got to work out some kinks in my backpacking camping gear. This is the first time that I've really, you know, taken out the backpacking tent. Um, so I really got to see what it was like to pack that along, along with the pack raft, what it was like to go down the river, camp, uh, use this cook set that I have, this fairly new cook set, and then to hike back to the truck with everything on, literally carrying everything. Um, so. It was an all-around good experience. Got to practice using some camera stuff. Uh, as you'll see, I learned some valuable lessons with regard to the camera stuff and actually being prepared with uh, proper equipment. But all-around fun. I hope you enjoy the footage. And again, I am going to be trying to make these fishing vlogs, these adventure videos, somewhat of a regular thing. So if you like what you see here, please consider subscribing, and I will greatly appreciate it. Hello. Good. Hello. Good. How far is it from there to the bridge? Like a hundred yards at least. Yeah. The trail should go right up there. Yep. Oh my gosh, huh. this is um, a peculiar situation, hopefully the fishing spot is a bit firmer. <laughs> Just learned the hard way that a lot of this sand is actually mud, so from here on out I need to be a bit more careful about where I land and where I step. Okay. Oh. An ordeal was had, but a lesson was learned. Ooh. So I was casting, trying to, hoping to catch a grayling. I just hooked a pike on the nose. He is barely on this. Oh my gosh. Is he a keeper? I don't know. Look at how he's hooked. I mean, I could keep him. 
he's bigger than what a typical grayling would be. And I can always add a second pike to the list. I could eat this. Yeah, that's got more meat on it than a typical grayling, so... Yeah, I can make this dinner. I know he's small by pike standards, but... I think he will be tasty, nonetheless. Well, I just dispatched and strung up this little pike. Yeah, he'll... He'll fry up good, or... I don't have butter or oil or anything, so I'll have to simmer him in a pot of water. But this will work. I will enjoy that. Okay, so I've got this bead head nymph on here, split shot, and a bobber. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna try to use here. It'll be interesting, because I'll kind of like drop it in front of me, mostly, and just let it drift down, possibly letting line out as it goes. There we go. <laughs> yeah, little little fishy. Little fishy. I feel like this is what most of the grayling are going to look like. Towards fall and in fall, the, we tend to get more and bigger fish. So, quick update. Uh, tried. I've drifted down the river for like an hour or two maybe, at least. Um, tried casting for pike once, then tried casting for grayling actually caught a pike while doing that. Um, I've been trying to catch a grayling a couple of times since then. Um, but the grayling are few and far between right now at this time of year. They're not very big. It was kind of what I was expecting. Um, in the fall, sort of like August and into winter, there is a really big whitefish run as they come up to spawn, kind of like salmon. So let's see how this goes. Damn.
not seasoned, of course, but... It's something. A lot of bones in it, of course, but... I'll just eat at the water side, I think, and then... Spit bones and skin out. The grayling out there. I'm gonna try catching him. I just found a school of a few grayling just downstream of where I'm, I've set up camp. I need to figure out this camera situation. Oh, wow. Look at this fish. Cam oh, look at that. Yeah, that would have been a nice keeper fish, but I'm gonna let him go. Wow, look at him. Incredible. I'm sight fishing. Grayling at nine o'clock in the evening. What do we have here? Another grayling? Yep. There's a really large fish out there. We're still going, right? Yes, we are. Oh, this one's a bit darker. I was just about to get ready to go to bed. Got like the tent set up. Um, Wow. Look at these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. 